Let's play Pokemon the Trading Card Game by me, Fledmod14. What's up, guys? Fledmod14 here. Uh, yeah, last time we uh, entered here at the Pokemon Dome for the first time, and we defeated uh, Courtney, the first Grandmaster. Is your deck ready? Uh, yeah, let's prepare for the duel. So for this duel against uh, the next person, I'm gonna go up Burning Soul for our deck, so let's give it a try. Is your deck ready, Flood? Yeah, uh, no. Alright then, begin the duel. Six prizes, ready, set, go! It's I, Dunder Steve! And we face Grandmaster Steve with the legendary Zapdos deck. Alright, here we go, guys. Epic music. Oh, yeah, we're getting close to the finale, baby. But, I mean, there's no guarantee. And, uh, this guy, Steve, is tough, trust me. Um, so, yeah, we'll place both wall picks on the bench. And let's see what, uh, Steve, Steve Arcana has. <laughs> Alright. We're going first. Yeah, Electabuzz. Pretty good stuff. And he has, uh, the fossil Zapdos there with Thunderstorm. Yeah, Eevee, Eevee, yeah. Uh, we didn't get the best start for our hand, but, you know, it's okay. We'll work on what we have. I'm sure we'll draw another Fire Energy. And if not, uh, what I've decided to do here for the, uh... Oh, okay. There's, a. Uh, the legendary Zapdos card. Yeah, Peel of Thunder. When you put Zapdos into play during your turn, uh, do 30 damage to a Pokemon other than Zapdos chosen at random. This Pokemon power can really screw you over, but let's see who it hits. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, Steve seems to get pretty lucky with the, uh, with the rolls there. You know, that's all I'm gonna say, but, you know. Not to worry, guys. We've got we've got some cards that can stall. So, card number one, Gust of Wind. So I'm actually gonna switch him into uh, this Zapdos right here because I actually don't find it as threatening, and it will give us time. Uh, we've also got Item Finder. So once he puts, like, two energy here on his legendary Zapdos, we can actually swap it out for another one of his Zapdos that takes a lot of energy. So that's the plan for now. Uh, I might as well use the Super Potion, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, should I just energy retrieval right now for one? Sure, why not? <laughs> there we go. And I'll put this energy back on Voltix. All right. Go ahead, Steve. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. What you got? Eh, not even bothering, you know, pumping up the Zapdos, which, honestly, if I was in the same boat as you, I'd probably do the same. But, uh, yeah. Alright. One energy on this one. Ah, okay. Well, at least now we can start doing some damage, you know? You definitely want to, uh... <laughs> you somehow do switch him early, you definitely want to do as much damage as possible. So, another energy. Okay, so now we gotta be careful, but uh, I think I'll just, uh, yeah, we got Gambler here, so I think we'll gamble a little bit, see if we can draw eight cards, get the Gust of Wind, everything's going according to Cake here, so we'll switch out to the other Zapdos, takes four energy, and gamble. Let's hope we get heads. Ooh, yes. That's kind of what we needed here. Uh, we, we had a really rough uh, few cards to start, but uh, yeah, go with Bill. A Bill. Okay. Two Magmar, that's what I like to see. All right. Yeah, we're doing good. I do have to remember, though, that I did discard one Charmeleon that may come back to uh, be pretty important later. Uh, we'll pump up Charmander for now. Confuse Ray. All right. Does it really matter if we confuse him or not? Well, I guess it does. It, it can kind of stop him from retreating, I guess. Hmm. Huh. I hadn't considered that till just now, but... Okay, another gamble. Uh, let's put this on this Magmar, actually. And we'll go with Confuse Ray. There we go. Okay. So he is confuzzled. All right. Okay. And that potion? Okay, that's fine. Now that he is confused, I think I'm actually gonna... I uh, probably should have done this to start, but I'm actually gonna get Vulpix out of here. And, uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, and can, by the way, if you do somehow land confusion, uh, ooh, nice, the poison, hmm. This could be a potentially good thing. Well, it depends. Does he have a switch, a scoop up, or is the retreat gonna be successful? This could be a good combo if it fails. Oh, okay, okay, he got away, he got away. Eh, it's all good, it's all good. What you gonna do now, Steve? Boy, he's really thinking, huh? Oh, okay, okay. Ocean, yeah. All right, all right. But we staved off the, kind of the early, you know, onslaught there. And he did damage himself, which I'm fine with. Uh, yeah, but that's the big thing about this duel is that uh, you definitely want to keep an eye on your Pokemon's HP. And like right here, like, you know, uh, let's say he brings out Peel of Thunder and hits uh, Magmar. You know what I mean? Like he could, he could just take it out like... You know, like that, in a flash. Ooh, man, we're getting really lucky with the poison here. That may be the strat, because honestly, if he keeps retreating, it'll kind of help us out, because it kind of helps to counterbalance, you know, the good early start he got. And, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, Tails, good, good. The, the, the coin's being very, very nice to us, shall we say. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh hmm. Wind can wind con detected. Wind con detected. Fire blast. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And uh, Nine Tails has a nice, you know, 80 HP to survive uh, the peel of thunder. Ah, let's start pumping up Vulpix, shall we? And in fact, you know, just to avoid anything crazy, let's uh, evolve Vulpix right now. Right here, right now. Uh, we will need some more energy though, dude. This luck is good. Okay, hopefully he doesn't evolve Eevee. Uh, he might just go for the quick attack here, though. Hmm, what you gonna do, Steve? Retreating, okay, okay. And he doesn't have energy for, see, this is exactly what I was talking about for the, uh, yeah, for the, uh, now I'm gonna put this on this other Magmar, just in case. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about, is like, you know, because of all the retreating he did, uh, yeah, he doesn't really have energy for, um, um, you know, for the Zapdos. Um, I'm actually gonna save this potion. I mean, even if we heal here, well, let's see. Yeah, nothing else can really do 30. Well, I guess Eevee technically could. Dude, what is this luck? What is this luck? I mean, I'll take it. I, I, you know what? Hey, yeah. luck is a skill. Yeah, uh, okay, that's, that's acceptable. Okay, and he's still not putting any energy. Obviously, guys, this isn't, you know, typical as far as, uh, you know, what can happen. Uh, so, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely be prepared here. Um, yeah, because he can output some, and like, this duel isn't over, but, you know, needless to say, he can put out some real big damage with, with the Zapdos and stuff, so, yeah, just be careful, you know, keep an eye on your HP, like right here. Now that he retreated out, Magmar is down to, you know, we're 30, which, uh, shot him from, uh, you know, let's say he has another Zapdos with Hill of Thunder. Yeah, you know, so heal and, uh, make sure you don't get, uh, you don't get tricked, you know, so. Oh, I guess I didn't need to put that other Vulpix down, but whatever. Oh my god! Okay, at some point, this luck has to run out. You know, that's a realistic, you know, uh, expectation at this point. Okay, okay, you got Bill. Switch? Ah! <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, honestly, this thing is nearly, you know, out of uh, HP, so I'd honestly prefer for you to bring uh, this Zapdos in right here, because I am kind of afraid he might use, like, a scoop up or something. A lot of the Grandmasters do have scoop up, and, uh, what, is he gonna use it? Okay, we got really, really lucky here. As far as Steve's and the coin and the draw and him going dry on energy and everything. But we've done a lot of damage to a lot of his Pokemon. And now we finally get our first prize. That's a pretty good one to get, honestly, at this juncture. Okay. Altar. Okay, he's 
go in for the Thunder Punch. Ten damage to yourself. That means I kill you. That means I kill you with small. Man, Magmar's got it going on. All right. Charmeleon. Good, good. I did shuffle Charizard back, but uh, let's give him more HP, shall we? And uh, Energy Retrieval. Uh, oh, I've only got one fire. Well, you know, to be fair, Magmar has been decent it, so I'm not too surprised I don't have any other fires in the discard pile right now. But, you know, it, it does look like, you know, dear, faithful Magmar here. And he got another poison. Oh, my God. We'll be going down here. So I love you, though, Magmar. I love you, bro. I love you. Thank you for, you know, everything you did for me in this uh, in this episode right here, man. <laughs> Dude, dude, he got tails. Oh, Steve, Steve. Oh, man. <laughs> I almost want to save Magmar and uh, go into... You know what? You know what, Magmar? We are going to save you, buddy. You earned it. You earned it. All right. Let's go to this nine tails and... Fire Blast! Yeah! Suck on that, Jolteon. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Uh, our luck in this one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that kind of scared me, but it looks like everything's okay now. All right. Oh, yeah, but our luck in this one has been too good. Oh, look at that draw. Look at that draw. Char starts back, bitches. All right. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, we only need three prizes. You know what, Nine Tails? You do the honors, my friend. Oh, my God. Well, we, we got really lucky. All right. I'm sure Nine Tails can beast it here for the well. Maybe he'll get lucky with paralysis. That's that's really Steve's like only chance here. But really, if he gets lucky with paralysis, it's not really gonna help him because his biggest problem is, oh my god. Okay, we get all those heads and he gets tails. Like Steve must be going like, dude, tails, what? What's up with the coin? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, <laughs> I mean, if I was Steve, I'd be wanting to rage quit here. But uh, yeah. Fire Blast! Kaboom! Oh man, it is too easy, too easy. Double colorless? Nice. Alright. <laughs> and uh, much like uh, Zapdos beasted it in the, you know, that one duel with uh, Ken, looks like Ninetales did his duty here, so. Nice. So, uh, I don't know. I guess if you're doing this Grandmaster Duel, I'd recommend going with Poison. Seems to work pretty well. Alright, Tommy said. And we won the duel with Steve. Sweet, sweet. Alright. Uh, yeah. You're the winner. With that, you're the greatest. With that skill, I feel like you, we can give you the legendary Pokemon cards. I mean, yeah. Very good, Flood. Your next opponent is Jack. Jack in the box. Alright. I, Chuck, am your third opponent. You shall not be able to defeat my splendid deck. Come, I shall prove it to you. Now, uh, yeah, let, we will prepare for the duel here. I don't know if I'll have time to fit this entire duel in. Uh, one thing I will say about, uh, we're gonna go with the flooding deck. Uh, one thing I will say about this duel, though, uh, if you want an easier time, pick, like, the Zapdos deck. Oh, I mean, go with electric Pokemon, or fighting Pokemon, or both. That, that is one thing. I, and as far as Steve goes, um, you obviously want fighting Pokemon, but just keep in mind that, uh, yeah, obviously his Zapdos will resist your uh, fighting attacks. So, you know. Shall we start? There will be six prizes. All right. And now it's time for Grandmaster Jack with the legendary Articuno deck, the Arctic one. All right. And we get to hear that awesome music again. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm going to get a drink of water here. I'm going to listen to the epic music. Oh, maybe I should, uh, oh, put some Pokemon out, though. Lapras? Good, good, good. Uh, let's see, and Squirtle, Squirtle. Uh, yeah, let's put Squirtle down. And there we go. Let's see who goes first here. Okay, Jack, go ahead, buddy. See you, see you. All right. strange choice what a strange choice uh 
he didn't even start pumping up this seal. But uh, let's see what uh, Jack's got out here. Three seals. Pretty straightforward, yeah. So, yeah, that's the reason I said to go with electric Pokemon if you got them. You know, if you want, you know, most of the time in this game, I don't choose a super effective matchup. Just because, to me, it makes the duels more interesting, fair, you know. But, uh, you know, obviously, if you want to just, you know, clear out the game, have an easy time, go for it. Uh, let's see. I guess I can get War Turtle. just water in for now. I'll grab War Turtle maybe next turn, so. Alright, we got the Flooding Deck in. Ah, a Lapras of your own. Hmm. Eh, not bad, Jack, not bad. Alright. Well, if we put another water on, we can water gun for 30, so. Uh, let's just do that. Water gun! And we take the early lead. Uh, Lapras does have a lot of damage on it so far, though, so, well, a little bit. He softened us up. Basically, what he's doing right now is softening us up for his other Lapras, you know. So, you know. A uh, Super Potion would be nice uh, if we can get one soon. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. And actually, Pokemon Trader, huh. I mean, I might just, uh... Might trade for another Lapras, actually. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does here. All right. Water gun. Water pond. All right. Another headbutt. So, yeah. We're within 40. About 40 on. Hmm. Alternatively, I could search for Eevee. Go for Vaporeon. Hmm. Nah. You know what? We'll trade this one out. And we'll go with... We'll go with the War Turtle. We'll go with the War Turtle. I got a good feeling. War Turtle. And Blastoise is in the deck, so that's good to know. Uh, yeah. Something I never mentioned, though, uh, but is a good strategy, is if you're using, like, uh, Pokemon Trader, Pokeball, etc., um, yeah, definitely look at your deck, you know, while you're in there, uh, to make sure... Oh, 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 perfect. To make sure, uh, yeah, that you still have you know, the search target you want, you know what I mean? That honestly makes a lot of sense. Now, oh, that's nice. Um, now, Lapras is probably going to go down here, but uh, we just drew Blastoise, which is good. Uh, so, ultimately, what we want to do now, we actually want to uh, just use Water Gun, get it within 50, and then next turn, Blastoise with Rain Dance can... Uh, take out this Lapras, yeah, yeah, because I figured he'd go with the water gun, uh, if he got the, another energy, so, yep, we want to go with War Turtle, okay, that, is good, okay, so we'll go with Stories Splash Doys, alright, and we are going to need to use Energy Retrieval to knock it out right now, hmm. Plus... Okay, yeah, so if I put on two, it'll be at 50. Okay, not such a hard decision. Discard water energy, and we'll take the two water. Brain dance, brain dance, and see ya, Lapras. We don't want you confusing us. Alright, this duel's going just as well as the last one. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say other than, uh... Yeah, this is great. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> and it still has uh, 60 HP. So this is part of the cards. I mean, but to be fair, you are pretty likely to draw, you know, energy cards more than anything. But I must admit, that draw was pretty lucky. All right, we got a fourth prize. Professor Oak, sweet, sweet. All right, Lapras with no energy. Mm-mm, good. Just like the soup. Yeah. 
Yeah, like he hasn't even played his uh, legendary card yet, you know, knock on wood. Uh, let's go with Vaporeon. And uh, <laughs> I actually am going to Professor Oak here. So, well, actually, I don't need a Professor Oak yet. Right, let's just uh, let's let him hit us once next turn. And then uh, we'll heal. And then I'll use all of the cards in my hand before Professor Oak. There's the other Articuno, the one that's in our deck, not the legendary one. It is still pretty good, though, with the, uh, what is it, freeze dry? Oh, man, wow. Okay, so let's put this on Blastoise, Super Potion. There we go. And, uh, yeah, it's actually a good idea. Let me use the switch to Vaporeon. I'm sure we'll, we'll oak into some energy. Uh, the main reason I'm doing this is to make sure, uh, Blastoise is, you know, defended in a way. Because, you think about it, a lot of attacks in this game can't really attack Pokemon on the bench. So, if you are on the bench, you know, you're basically defended from, you know, all kind of tricks. So, uh, I could play Surf and Pikachu here to just really give us an edge, you know, since it is lightning type. But, you know, like I said, I want to keep it interesting, and we're already, like, overwhelming Jack here. The uh, so-called Ice Master. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to discard it. Just, uh, you know, basically give Jack a chance here. But, uh, okay, we'll go with Water Gun now. Don't want to use Quick Attack because we could get Tails, you know. Yeah. Best to go for a sure thing. Okay, and that's the first one of those he's got. Yeah, so uh, that's why I said bring... You might have wondered, like, well, why'd you say bring fighting Pokemon? So Jack actually has a lot of these. He, he has, like, a lot of Chansey, a lot of uh, Kangaskhan. You know, kind of like... You know how Murray used a lot of bulky... Uh, throw down Articuno. He used a lot of, you know, bulky, uh, colorless Pokemon. Jack does too, and, uh, believe it or not, Jack seems to get even luckier than Murray does with his, which, you know, I don't really know what to think about that, but, uh, looks like we've won, so, but again, these, these two duels, <laughs> as fun as they were, and as, as, you know, as awesome as it was, uh, don't take that for, you know, a true, uh, a true synopsis, a true, you know, uh, a true example of, you know, how tough or how easy these guys can be. Because, you know, most of the time, Jack will start with uh, Chansey and start using Scrunch over and over and over. And, man, like, I honestly expected this duel to be a two-parter. But uh, we got pretty lucky. He got pretty unlucky. You know, so that's the way it goes. All right. I, 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 can't, I simply can't believe my splendid deck could lose. How shocking. It is a mortifying thought. But it appears you are better than I. Very well, now on to your final test. Alright, so that's uh, three down, one to go. Spectacular dueling, I, Rod, will be... <coughs> Rod, will be your next opponent. Are you ready? This is your final duel, show me what you're made of. Okay, Rod, but we're going to show you what we're made of... Next time on Pokemon Trading Card Game. Is your deck ready, Flood? Uh, yeah, I want to prepare for the duel, bro. Because I want to see... All right, and yeah, I have decided, like, if, uh, if Rod or, you know, anyone else, uh, you know, any of the Masters does bounce us, you know, I will just kind of, you know, take it on the chin, and basically, like, I want to try to beat all, all four in a row, you know, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, cheese it, you know, if, if we beat all four, great, but if we, if we lose, you know, I will start from the beginning, you know, kind of make it like a true Elite Four, I think that makes it more interesting, as far as the, uh, the recording goes, make it like a true Elite Four, you know, where you have to beat all four in a row, so, uh, but yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode, went pretty well, went pretty well, it was a lot of fun, but, uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Alright. Have a good day.